Hi guys. Welcome to tonight's class. I'm running a little late, so um, while we wait for people to jump on, I'm just going to get everything ready to go. Opening up all my oils. I love doing this. Hmm. intense. <laughs> so if you guys are just jumping on, um, if you don't have the blends for tonight's class, don't worry. You can just grab any of your favorite blends at all, any of them. Okay. Just getting everything ready. Today was kind of an intense day uh, in my house, so I really need this protocol, and I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Hi, Susan. I see Erica and Elizabeth on. So you guys, tell me which... Um, Tell me which blends you have brought to the class tonight. The ones that we're going to be using are, in case you didn't see my post, Sacred Mountain, Inspiration, Awaken, hey Melissa, um, Gathering, Humility, Dreamcatcher, and White Angelica. So if you have any of those, please get them handy. If you only have one, that's so totally fine. And if you don't have any of them, that's totally fine too. You could grab frankincense. Hi, Joanne. You could grab geranium. You could grab... Um... Oh, actually, I need a helper for the class. Does anyone have their reference guide handy? Anybody have a reference guide that you could... And anybody who would be willing to type in... Um, to this Facebook Live, just some of the oils that are in some of these blends as we come to them. So if anybody has their um, their reference guide and you would be willing to help me out tonight by typing, um, I would really appreciate it if you could just raise your hand and say that you would love to help. So Erica White Angelica will be a great one to use. A great one. You could use that for the whole entire thing if you wanted. <laughs> Susan, you have all of them except inspiration. I remember you put some, you put almost all of them in your order, didn't you, Susan? So you'd, so you'd be able to play along. Hey, Melissa, welcome, welcome. Is your little puppy gonna do the seventh heaven with us? That would be so fun. So, do I have any helpers? Anybody who has the reference guide and would be willing to type in some of the oils that are in the blends as we go along, because. If you don't have the blends, you can still use one of the individual oils from the blend, and then you can um, you can do that with us. Hi, Kelly. Okay, I'm going to wait for just a few minutes. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Awesome. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so Debbie's going to be our... <laughs> of course, right? Because Debbie's business is called Incredible Hands. She takes great care of people. She took such good care of me for many years. Uh, in my old business, so of course, Debbie, you would you would jump up. And Susan, if you want to help too, um, if people have, um, if we have a couple helpers. In fact, I'm going to write down everybody's name. Then we can kind of split it up a little bit. So Susan can help, and Debbie can help. Okay. So the blends are Sacred Mountain. Uh, it's going to be backwards for you guys anyway, right? So so Sacred Mountain. Inspiration, Awaken, Gathering, Humility, Dreamcatcher, and White Angelica. Those are the ones we're going to do. Okay? So I see more people coming on. That's awesome. That's awesome. Great. I'm going to get ready to get started. So again, if you don't have those seven blends, 
And I'm going to give you plenty of time before we apply the blends to go find them too. So if you just kind of get near your oil stash, um, you'll have some time. My goal tonight is to educate you on the blend itself and then we'll actually experience the blend. So that way you can just have a relationship with it without hearing my voice and hearing me talking. Um, hey Julie, welcome. Leslie, hello. Hi Debbie. Okay, so um, let me, I'm going to try recording this um, on my computer too, just so, uh, I don't know if it's going to work. I'm not going to record it tonight. <laughs> I had to apologize, you guys. I'm a little bit, um, today was a little bit of, a, of a, an intense day. So um, I may not be on my game tonight. It's just what happens, right? So um, I thought, of course, this is the night that I'm delivering this class because I can't wait to use these oils. I've been waiting all day to get with these oils. Um, you know, the reason I wanted to do this class is because I came across this old recording from Gary Young. I don't even know how old it is. It's like, I mean, it was from the early, early times because a lot of it wasn't very compliant. <laughs> so it was always fun to hear those, you know, original ones. And he was talking about this, this kit called the Seventh Heaven Kit. And I'd never heard of it. So I immediately went to the website. I'm like, maybe I just missed this kit. But turns out the Seventh Heaven Kit um, has been discontinued. But the oils, and the blend are the blends they're all blends the blends that were in the kit are still available so i thought oh my gosh this is so cool it's like this hidden treasure that nobody knows about these these seven blends and this um kind of this protocol although those of you who know gary know he'll he'll suggest things but he really wants you to kind of play with the oils and use your own intuition so when i first did this protocol last year i was captivated by it i just it, it's very powerful it's powerful just one of the blends, but when you use all seven together, it's like, in fact, I have to close up my gathering. Gathering is so intense for me, especially right now. So we're just gonna put the top on that one. I can't, I cannot sit there and breathe gathering the whole time. Um, so every blend itself is potent, but all seven of them together are really kind of spectacular. Um, so I'm just looking at my notes here, because again, I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not on my top game today. So last February, we did a series on the team page where we did a post a day on each of these seven blends. And it was nice. It was kind of fun. You know, people loved hearing about the blends, but I thought, you know, that didn't quite do it. Like just seeing a post about a blend doesn't really help you truly understand what it's like to experience the blend. And even if you don't have these blends at home, there will be something that diff different that happens when you see them used in succession and when you could hear kind of the why behind each of them. So that's why I wanted to do this class tonight. Now, the reason I wanted to do this set of seven oils instead of something else is because these really have an amazing capacity to bring you back to yourself. And when things get crazy and the you know what hits the fan, like it tends to do on the holiday time, these can kind of bring you back to yourself and back to center. And they can also help you tap into wisdom that you didn't know you had, guidance that comes from somewhere else. And I feel like at this time of the year, we're, we're all kind of craving that, oh, you could call it spirituality, you could call it intuition, you could call it something special, just something beyond our day-to-day -day grind. I don't know. Does that resonate with anybody? Does that, that sound like kind of a space that you're in right now? Like we can get so caught up in the day-to-day -day minutia and all the craziness that we forget to tune into, um, kind of the bigger picture. So um, can somebody make a quick comment? Because I haven't seen any comments and I want to make sure that I haven't frozen. I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> okay, I see some thumbs. Okay, great. Um, so like I said, if you don't have the blends, a couple that you could grab would be frankincense, um, lavender, you could grab um, cedarwood. I know a lot of you have cedarwood. Uh, motivation, magnify your purpose, like any ones that speak to you, any at all. It really doesn't matter. Okay, thanks guys. Okay, you're all still there. Okay, awesome. And if you have a diffuser near you that's empty, you may want to fill it up with some water because um, we could start and put our first blend into the diffuser. That might be kind of nice. So, okay. Um, let's see. We're just going to dive right in. We're going to dive right in. So the first blend that we are going to use together is called Sacred Mountain. 
I know it's going to look backwards to all of you, but Sacred Mountain. So if either Debbie or Susan, if you don't mind just typing in the oils that are in Sacred Mountain, that would be great because then people will be able to see. And if you have one of those oils and you don't have the blend, you can go grab that. So <clears throat> Sacred Mountain. Um, Gary says that this really, oh gosh, see Debbie so fast. Holy cow, spruce, ylang ylang balsam fir, and cedarwood. So spruce, ylang-ylang, and cedarwood are in so many of these seven blends. So if you even just found those three, you'd probably be golden for the rest of the time. Um, Gary talks about um, these oils representing Eastern philosophies. He says that they help emphasize finding sacredness within your own self. So um, I'm just going to read from my notes here. Um, so Gary said that he basically created Sacred Mountain very selfishly because he lives in the city but Gary if you know Gary his heart is in the mountains like the man if he could just live in a cabin or in a tent with his horse he would be happy that's his happy place are the mountains when we went to um, the sandalwood farm in Hawaii um, and we all the diamonds went to hang out for the day at the farm there were two tents there right next to the hot tub where they distill, where they put all the, um, the distillery water, they fill the hot tub. So if you go to the farms, you can soak in the oil water, basically. And um, there were two tents there, and I said, who's, what is that for? And they said, well, that's where Gary and Jacob are staying. So Gary and his son, we're, we're all going, flying back on helicopters to the Four Seasons, where they put us up. And Gary was basically living at the farm in a tent the whole time. So, I mean, it just tells you how much he loves the outdoors and he loves the mountains. He says he wanted to bring, to make sacred mountain blend to bring the mountains to him. He said they, the being in the mountains makes it easier for him to communicate. They take away the static and the bustle of busy life. So when I think of this blend, I think of, you know, we all need a quiet space to be able to tune into ourselves, whether that is to pray listen, ask for guidance, or just, just to be with ourselves. And so um, he said that the ylang ylang that is in here is really great for balancing the masculine and feminine energies of the body. And at this time of the year, I find we're all very masculine. We're like cranking through our to-do list. We're cranking through our gift buying and this and that and making cookies and delivering them here. And like, there's so much masculine energy. It can be really helpful to use um, a blend like Sacred Mountain that has ylang ylang in it to help bring out a little bit more of the femininity, the re receiving, um, that whole aspect. So um, here's a little fun fact that Gary talks about in his recording. He said, in ancient times, the Egyptians thought that the more perfume you wore, the closer you were um, to God. And the more fragrant that they were, the more pleasing it was to God. So they would wear these, um, the kings and queens would have these headdresses that were, that were made, basically made of beeswax, and they would put the oils in the beeswax, and throughout the day, as it melted with the heat, the oils would just like start to literally drip down their necks and their chests, and that they thought that made them closer to God. So you can kind of do whatever you want with Sacred Mountain. With Sacred Mountain. You could put it in the diffuser. That's one thing that Gary suggests. I'm going to look at his other recommendations for this one. Um, he said you can just breathe it from the bot from the bottle. Um, obviously, you could put it on the crown of your head. I'm going to invite you today to take a moment. We're going to be quiet for a second. I want to invite you to just get quiet and notice which part of your body might need a little strengthening today, a little more connection with who you truly are. Okay, and so I want you to apply Sacred Mountain wherever that is. Nobody can see you, so you know you can put it wherever you want. And if you don't want to apply it, just put it in your diffuser. If you don't want to put it in your diffuser, you can just smell it, um, and you can just, just enjoy it. Okay, so we're going to take a moment just to enjoy it, and I want you to kind of notice what happens when you use Sacred Mountain. And if you don't have Sacred Mountain, you can use um, Ylang Ylang, um, any of the spruces, cedarwood, frankincense, Whatever oil makes you feel like you've come back to your own home, okay?
I know we've talked about this before on Facebook Lives, but if you don't have a diffuser at some point, a great thing to do. Simone taught me how to do this. Someone taught her. You put the oil in your hands, you breathe it in, and you make a little like, like a little tent. And then as you breathe it in through your nose, breathe it out through your mouth. And then you'll get it even more intensely back again. It's kind of, you sound like Darth Vader, but it's a good, it's a good Darth Vader experience. Mm. So what do you guys notice with Sacred Mountain? Those of you who used it, what do you notice? What? And maybe nothing at all. Or maybe you did. Either way, it's good. Hey, Leanne. Hey, Twinkle. For me, it's almost like someone, uh, it's like there was a radio buzzing in the background like that you didn't even notice, and then all of a sudden someone just turned it off and it's like oh it's quiet <laughs> it's finally quiet which is wonderful right mm. okay anybody notice anything did anyone use sacred mountain i know some of you have it if you didn't use sacred mountain what did you use and um what did you get with just that intention of coming back to yourself and turning off all the noise Comments are slow tonight. Well, I'm going to ask for waiting for comments if Debbie, if you can look up for me um, inspiration and let us know the single, single oils that are in inspiration. So Joanne says calming and reassuring. That's a, actually, that's a really good word for it. Reassuring. You're right. Very, that's a very good word for it. Very grounding, Connie says. Chelsea said, too, very grounding, brought you back to the singular moment. Yes. Isn't that kind of crazy that an oil can take you out of the past and the present and the future and just bring you right into the present? So Melissa's felt very centered, less scattered. Mm. Okay, yeah, so the Darth Vader is fun, right, Kelly? Yeah, it's very, there's something about, I, I always forget to breathe it back out through my mouth, but it's very different, isn't it, when you breathe it back out? Oh, Leslie, that's a good combination. Idaho blue spruce cedarwood and ylang ylang. That's a good one. That's very good. Okay. So that was kind of our little kickoff with Sacred Mountain. And now we're going to move to inspiration. So um, Debbie shared with us, inspiration has um, cedarwood, black spruce, myrtle, coriander, royal Hawaiian sandalwood, frankincense, bergamot, vetiver, ylang ylang, and geranium. So there you go. There's like 10 oils to pick from. <laughs> pick your pleasure. I guarantee some, you, you've got to at least have frankincense, right? You got to have frankincense from your kit. So, and so many of you have cedarwood. That's a, that's a crowd favorite. Uh, I know a lot of you have bergamot because that was a promo a couple months ago. So same with geranium. So just pick them out. Any, any one that you want. Um, this is what inspiration looks like, and this one, mm, I must need inspiration. There's something in here that my body is like, hmm, not sure I'm ready for today. Okay, so let's talk about inspiration first, and then we will go ahead, I'm just going to look at some of the comments here. Susan said that Sacred Mountain helped you leave the business of the day. That's just what Gary would say it was made for. Leslie, made me forget all around me for a moment. Cool. Yes, it is a powerhouse of oils in that blend, isn't it, Colleen? These all are like crazy powerhouses. So again, if you can't get all seven, just pick one. <laughs> pick one and start with it. Okay, so inspiration. Um, inspiration is used for meditation, prayer, and inner awareness. Um, those oils that we read off that are in inspiration have been used by Eastern and North American Native peoples to increase spirituality. Um, Gary created this to, he said, I want to bring people mentally into a space where they feel that they can communicate with God through meditation or prayer. So now, you know, God can mean many different things, whether you are looking to talk to God or the universe or higher power or whatever. 
I think we all agree there's something out there bigger than ourselves. And so this blend was designed to help us be able to start, you know, the communication. So he says inspiration works on the limbic system. It touches the pineal gland, the hypothalamus, that both of these stimulate the knowing or desire to communicate with God. I'm mostly communicating Gary's words here because I just think he does a great job of this. So these aren't my words for the most part. They're mostly just coming straight from Gary. So Gary says the oils themselves, this I found fascinating. Listen to this. The oils themselves do not cause us to be spiritual or to want to pray. Okay? The oils do not cause us to be spiritual or want to pray. The oils stimulate the mind and create feelings that bring us to the space of inner peace and doing what is right. The oils work like a knob on the radio. Those of you who have been to the feelings workshop, you've heard this before. He says they work like a knob on a radio. They help us tune into the higher frequencies um, that we need to communicate. So he said if the oil is pure, the oils will work like an amplifier and a transmitter of frequencies. However, if you're using an adulterated or a synthetic or lower grade oil, it will produce a lower frequency and tune you into lower frequencies on the spiritual realm. And as Gary says, that may mean that you get information that is not beneficial for you, that is not meant for you, that is not necessarily good for you. So that's why he says the quality of the oils is so important. Not just when we're talking about using them to support our, our physical health, but when we're talking about our emotional health, our spirituality, like anything that we do, we want to use the pure oils because they're going to ampl The oils will basically go after whatever frequency they are at. And we only want good frequencies, especially during the holiday time. Okay, so cedarwood um, is in this blend. It's sought after. It was very sought after in Europe. Not Europe. Oh my gosh, you guys. I need... I need some like focus oil. Sought after in Egypt. Egypt. There we go. Used in the mummification process to preserve the tissue and to get the body into, well, basically to get the body ready to last for thousands of years. So you can draw whatever assumptions you want to from that as to the properties of um, cedarwood. Um, also, the cedarwood that's in here and in actually a lot of these different blends helps us feel like we can communicate better. It helps us feel safe, loved, and protected. And this is, I love using any oils with cedar wood on my kids. Who doesn't want to feel safe, loved, and protected? So if you find that, uh, this is my own little take on it, where you might want to apply it, okay? Um, if the holiday season um, goes to your kidneys, if you find yourself in fear at all, you could apply inspiration topically over your kidney area. Um, if you find yourself uptight, tense, irritable, intense during the holidays, you can use inspiration anywhere you feel tight, tense, irritable, or intense. Okay? Um, Gary says you the smell of it is going to help go into the deep recesses of our minds where we can humble ourselves, reach into prayer, or whatever we do to ask for direction and ask for the guidance that we need. So, inspiration. He talks about putting it on the crown of the head. But you could put it wherever you desire. Okay? So, I'm going to just <laughs> rub it all over myself, basically. So, if you have inspiration, go ahead and put it on. If you don't, but you have one of the oils that's in it, like cedarwood, go to town. Okay? And we'll all just take a moment and see how that works for us. I can't believe I said Europe instead of Egypt. <laughs> uh, I need it with my whole brain today.
so one of the reasons I like doing protocols like these is because it forces me to slow down a little bit. And sometimes, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes with my oils, I'm just a very practical, like, let's just get the oil on so I can get on with my day kind of thing. You know, like I'll slap some thieves on the bottom of my feet or, you know, like put some peppermint on my tongue and like just move on with the day. And I think that's a great functional way to do it. But sometimes, especially when we're trying to shift emotions or we're trying to clear whatever's happened in the day or we're trying to create a new um, way of being in the world, it's helpful to take some time with the oils and to just really notice what happens with them. So what I'm noticing is even though I don't love the smell of inspiration, I just want to like hit finish so I can just smell it all night. So what are you guys noticing with inspiration? And Leslie, yes, I absolutely think the oils change the frequency of our energy. Absolutely. Um, I wrote down the, the frequency of all of these blends, actually, because I don't know. I just, when I was looking at them, the frequency jumped out. So Sacred Mountain was 176 megahertz. And uh, inspiration, that's the only one I didn't write down. Debbie, do you mind looking up the, um, do you mind looking up the megahertz or Susan of um, inspiration? And you guys are going to want to look in your reference guides and look at the frequencies because just because an oil has a lower frequency doesn't necessarily mean it's like a bad oil or not as good as another one. But the frequencies in a very general way from what I understand, I don't really know much about it. Um, thank you, Susan. So inspiration is 141 megahertz. So what I find with the frequencies is that some of the oils are designed to work on our emotions and our spiritual state. You know, like something like a rose is so way up there in frequency. And then there are other oils that are more designed for the physical body. So they might be a lower vibration because you, the body is a little bit lower um, than stuff happening up here. So it's fascinating. If you're interested in how the oils affect the frequencies, just take a book. You can just, I hate to send you down the Google rabbit hole. You could Google frequencies of essential oils and you'll see all sorts of interesting graphics and interesting things. And the reference guides have really great sections um, on the frequencies of the oils. So um, so what did you guys know? So Susan noticed breathing it in makes her whole body tingle. Kelly noticed, oh, use frank and joy. Wonderful. Grounding, uplifting. Okay, great, great. <sighs> So, emotional release, Chelsea. I hope that was a good thing. <laughs> it would be so interesting if somebody does this whole protocol with just one oil to see what would happen. I, I'm willing to bet you would get seven totally different experiences with the same oil because your intention is different. And, you know, Gary talks a lot about that, too, and um, even on the Diamond page, people have talked about it because when certain oils go out of stock, people get freaked out, right? It's like, oh my God, I don't have that oil that I need. But, um, you know, Vicki Offer would tell us, and she's a Royal Crown Diamond. She's been with traveling with Gary for almost 20 years. And she said, you know, there were times when we were traveling and we didn't have the exact oil that Gary wanted to use, but he would just use what he had with intention and it created the same result. So I don't really freak out as much when things go out of stock because usually there's another oil that I can use with intention. So I'll just kind of share that with you guys. Okay, gathering. This, oh no, no, hold on, sorry, I skipped awaken. Okay, awaken. Awaken is next. So um, maybe Susan, if you could look up the um, oils that are in awaken. Um, this is a really, this is a great blend. So awaken is about balancing your state of mind. Um, yes, there are a lot of oils. Oh my gosh. It doesn't even all fit into one little comment. Okay, are you ready, guys? Awaken has bergamot, ylang ylang, geranium, royal Hawaiian sandalwood, neroli. Oh, neroli is great. Tangerine, lemon. So you all have lemon. So if you need to, you can do this with lemon. Coriander, black pepper, frankincense. Again, you can do it with frankincense. Melissa. Whew. Melissa is the one that's $15,000 per, what is it, per pound? Uh, black pepper, frankincense, melissa, lavender, jasmine, roman chamomile, lemongrass, hyssop, 
helichrysum, blue cypress, divana, lime, rose, German chamomile, blue tansy, ocatea, grapefruit, and spearmint. Thank you, Debbie, for typing all of that out. You are awesome. Holy cow. So you have a ton to pick from. Can you imagine all of those in one bottle? Okay. Alrighty. So awaken. Um, this one's a good one. This could push some of your buttons. Just letting you know. Awaken helps balance your state of mind and emotions through self-adjustment. <laughs> I'll take a self-adjustment today. It allows a gentle change towards renewal and balance, and it helps you to make a transition and reach your highest potential. It helps you. It's a blend of four. Let's see. I actually have the blends written here. It, I have five blends written down from Gary's notes. It may have been reformulated from his original recording to be slightly different, but what I have is it's a combination of dream catcher, forgiveness, harmony, joy, and present time. Those are all powerhouses too. Okay, so um, Awaken is the blend that you can go to if you are feeling stuck and not able to move forward and do the things that you dream about doing or the goals that you want to achieve. So, I mean, that's kind of for everybody, right? So if you are on here and you're building your Young Living business and you're feeling stuck, not able to realize your dreams or your goals, grab yourself some Awaken. Maybe you've got dreams and goals about what you want your holidays to look like or what you wish your holidays look like and they're not looking the same way. Grab some Awaken. Okay. Um, yeah, Debbie, they, some of these blends have been probably been reformulated a little bit since you, um, since all of us have our reference guides. So thank you for taking it from the site. Okay. So awaken Gary says helps with its setting goals and then having the energy vision and determination to work towards achieving them. And he says, all of the chemicals that we're bombarded with, you know, the chemicals in our food, the chemicals in our water, the chemicals in personal care products, the chemicals in our homes, in everything, they suppress the body and the mind. So he says, if we want to be a high achiever, we have to take risks. We have to realize that, well, we have to realize that while we are taking risks, we might be afraid. We have to be willing to be afraid to take the risks. We have to know that we might stumble, we might make tons of mistakes, we might fall, but we can get back up again. We have to keep moving forward and not stand still. Some of that oomph that is necessary to do that has been dulled. This is my interpretation of what he said. Some of that oomph that we need to move forward in our life and make the decisions we need to make, especially the hard ones, has been dulled by all the chemicals we're exposed to. And because a lot of people are dulled down, it seems like it's easier to not make big decisions and not continue to move forward and do things that are scary. So sometimes you need a little help with that. Um, Gary says also this is, this is the blend we want to use to be able to do um, what we need to do to keep our emotions strong. We need to keep our thyroid strong, we need to keep our whole hormonal body strong, and we need to be able to handle stress well. He said, when we want to change, we need to realize that we can change. And Awaken helps us to realize that we can do that, that we can live on an edge that we thought was for other people. So he says, when you breathe Awaken in, ask it to help you to wake up to your higher potential and go through the transitions that you need. When you awaken to your potential, when you awaken, right, you'll be able to make the changes and transitions so that you can move forward, okay? This, um, the frequency is 89 megahertz. Um, it's actually not an expensive blend either, so how cool is that, right? I forget how much it is, but it's not like one of those $70 five mil blends, okay? So, Awaken. What I'm going to suggest is what Gary suggests, um, is that you put it Awaken, you take it from your right temple to your left temple. I'm going to be backwards, so I do know my right from my left, <laughs> but I know Facebook messes it up. You can put it from your right temple and swipe it across, or you can just rub it on your temples. Um, again, you could do whatever the heck you want with it. 
if your body says, yeah, but here's in my body where I'm holding my fear of making this decision, or here's where I think the decision or the transition is stuck, put it there. Okay, I'm just going to do what Gary says because I think, I think Gary's a genius. We'll see what happens. Okay? And if you don't have Awaken, just use what you've got. There were like 50,000 oils in it. <laughs> I like to put at the back of my um, neck in that little notch where your, um, like where your neck meets your hairline too. It's kind of like, I don't know, I feel like it's a direct access to your brain and all of that, so... $20.50 wholesale. I mean, a dream and a goal and a transition is worth that, right? What did you guys notice from Awaken? The funny part is as soon as I go through an oil, I completely forget what it's supposed to do. <laughs> no idea. No idea. I forget what inspiration, what I just said inspiration was supposed to do for you guys. Sacred Mountain, I can remember. Mountains, grounding, helps you, you know, that's easy. Inspiration. <laughs> I must have a thing about inspiration. Awaken, it's kind of easy, right? Like you awaken to your dream, you you wake up, you move forward. No, you don't need to know, but you don't really have to know. That's why I have to have notes here. If I had to teach this and just remember it, pff, no way. It would never happen. What did you guys notice about Awaken? Besides the great price tag on it. And if you're just joining us and you're coming in, we're going to the Seventh Heaven Protocol. Um, we'll let you know. Gathering is coming up next for those who want to prepare. Gathering, Humility, Dreamcatcher, and White Angelica. We've got people helping us, letting us know what's in each of the blends. So if you don't have it, you can just grab whatever is closest to you. Susan, you like Awaken. Awesome. That's great. That's awesome. Any other comments on Awaken before we move forward to gathering? Debbie, you're awesome. Thank you so much. You're like <laughs> helper extraordinaire. So it makes you feel grounded in a very present way. Okay. Kelly's feeling shaky in anticipation of what's to come. <laughs> Are you nervous about what this is going to do? <laughs> I think it's only going to be good, but who knows? Sometimes you awaken to stuff you didn't really want to awaken to. Um, it seems like most of the feelings kit is in that blend. Yes. So actually, if the feelings kit is out of stock, you could just probably buy Awaken and have a pretty good handle on all of it. Okay, great. So we're going to move up. I'm just looking at what Debbie wrote. So gathering is next. This one's so, so, so um, strong for me. I have to keep the top on. Uh, lavender, Northern Lights, Black Spruce, awesome. Geranium, Frankincense, Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood, Ylang Ylang, Vetiver, Cinnamon, and Rose. So if you've got the starter kit, again, you can go to Lavender, Frankincense, um, Ylang Ylang seems to be in almost all of them. So that's cool. Okay. This one to me is super intense, guys. Like, I remember we were on the plane to convention, not this year, but the year before, going to Texas. And I don't, who was in that row with me? Colleen, you and your mom. Colleen and Pat were with me. And then Amy and Kira were on the other side. And I read out gathering. And wow, we like gathered up the whole plane just with the, like the four of us using it. Crazy, crazy. And here's why. Okay, so gathering, according to Gary, helps collect our emotional and spiritual thoughts, helps us to focus on our highest potential. 
Um, these oils are designed to cut through the chaotic energy and get to the heart of the matter. Um, Gary says he spent two years creating this blend. He was not able to find one of the oils that he wanted to put in the blend. And I actually didn't see it on this list. It may not be in the current gathering. So I'm just going to tell you about it, though, because I just love all this history from Gary. So this may have been from the original gathering, but two years. He spends two years. What happened was he said two ladies asked him to create a blend that would help bring people into a state of collective thinking. And he, he said he took him two years. He was flying between U.S. and France, and the answer came about this one oil he was missing for this blend. And the oil was galbum. So galbum was used and appreciated by Moses. Um, you don't hear a lot about galbum. Gary says it's a very, very powerful, powerful oil. So gathering is a blend that stimulates the mind to focus and really collect our thoughts and bring them kind of to the center of our mind. And there's so much interference in this world, so much energy bombarding us. I mean, just look at Facebook alone. Even if you take away the billboards on the highway and the you know, the video screens at the gas station and the notifications on your phone, you just, just Facebook alone. Talk about bombardment. There's so much energy. There's just so much stuff coming at us all the time. And um, Gary says, um, you know, and as for me as a, some of you don't know that I'm a clairvoyant, but for me as a clairvoyant, holy cow, just seeing the energies that come around in this world, like it's crazy. There's so much energy. Even if you aren't clairvoyant, I know you. I know you sense it, right? Like sometimes you 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 get to the end of the day and you're like, I've been walking around with a ton of other people, like all in here, and some of them are not me. Like, how do I get rid of all that energy? Like, that's not mine. That's not mine. Just go, right? So Gary says, you know, not everyone is going to go in the same direction. We get so much information, so much bombardment. We we all have to find our own path our own connection, our own spiritual foundation. So he says, you know what, your, your concern is to find your own path, not worry about what anybody else is doing. So gathering, these are his words, Gather, gathering helps to filter through the chaotic bombardment and incoherent frequencies, all of the misinformation that we get, the stuff that we hear, the stuff that we take on that is not meant for us, it just happens to come into our space. Gathering is used to create a direct pipeline to the information that we desire from the higher realms of God, the universe, higher power, whatever you want to say. So he says it's also, and this is why I, as strong as this is, I use this a lot when I'm traveling. And at this time of the year, he says, gathering is helpful for supporting yourself and protecting the body from outside attacks, especially when there's been a lack of sleep. And I don't think he's talking about like someone physically coming up and accosting you. I think he's talking about the stuff that comes into your energy when you're out and about. And I think in the holiday season, we all can get attacked in many different ways, right? By people who mean well, family members who mean well, friends who mean well, commercials that mean well, but so much comes at us, it's very important to be able to it's just really important to be able to be in our space. Now, here's a warning that I will give to you. Gary says that, ga that gathering can amplify negative as well as positive attitudes. And he says, wear it with caution if you are feeling negative. So he says that's also why we start with Sacred Mountain to get yourself in a really good space before you go to the gathering. So, um, use it with caution. <laughs> Again, it's not like a warning. Nothing, you're not going to explode. <laughs> you're not, but it's just good to think. So I think of gathering as like this. Um, I just think of it almost as a knife that cuts through like all the, you know what, that's going out from you, that's coming into you. Gathering, literally like let's gather me back into me, right? Let's gather whatever it is that I need to hear, whatever it is that I need to know, and gather it back to me. So he says you could put gathering on your face, you could put it on your temples, um, you could diffuse it in meditation, you could wear it like an aftershave or a perfume. It's so strong to me right now that I'm just going to smell it from the bottle because I just don't think that I need to put it on my body right now. Um, the frequency is 99 megahertz for gathering. So 
I'm going to just kind of smell this one today. And that's all that I need. It's not a bad smelling oil. It's actually quite yummy smelling. But I notice with gathering, there's certain times when I use it that it's too much. And maybe that's because I haven't used enough Sacred Mountain or I haven't gotten myself into a good enough space. I may even just save this one for the end and go back to it. And then sometimes I crave it and like I would want to drink it. <laughs> um, it is not a vitality, so we don't drink it. What do you guys notice about gathering? And even if you're not using gathering, was there anything in that message from Gary about gathering that resonated with you that you feel like you may want to use that intention with another oil? You like the smell of it on your hands better than straight from the bottle. Okay, awesome, Susan. Yeah, isn't it funny how sometimes an oil smells completely different on you um, than in a bottle? So funny. Thieves, to me, smells completely different on than, than from the bottle. Do you guys have any oils or any blends that like you're like, oh yeah, I can't smell them, but if I put them on, they're really nice. What did you guys notice about gathering? This might be one that nobody has. Alicia, get it. It's a it's a potent one. It is a potent one. All right, so the next one for my helpers who are gathering info. Melissa, it's your, you're in love? <laughs> it's awesome. So you must have needed it. Where did you apply it, Melissa? Where did you put it? Connie, you like abundance better on you than in the bottle. Yeah, that's kind of a spicy one. Very, very clovey in the bottle. Yeah, Melissa, where did you put gathering? I'm so curious. Hmm. Yeah, and you know, the gathering, the, um, I also think of it as the reason I play on the plane is because when you're on a plane, think of all that energy in one spot, like all just in that little tiny enclosed space. And so gathering can really help um, in, in crowds of people, like in crowds of people, like when you go to a convention, bring gathering with you, right? Um, you need to bring gathering with you. Um, okay, Melissa... What do you know what it cleared? Well, you don't have to share with us what it cleared, but that's uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. So cool that an oil can just wipe something away. All right, so maybe I need to put it on. <laughs> I'm gonna gonna be brave. I'm gonna try putting it on. Let's see. And you guys know the whole trick. This is like total oil nerd thing. Laura Sassiello knows how to explain this. I'm. You drop it into your non-dominant hand, so if you are right-handed, drop it into your left hand, and then use your right hand to rub it in a circular motion. Um, where shall I put this? Belly. I'm still on gathering. Sorry, I'm, I'm just coming back to it. Uh, okay. So there's something about dropping it from a higher distance that allows it to come down, and, and then kind of like it amplifies the frequencies. And when you rub it uh, clockwise with your non with your dominant hand, it helps to like almost bring it to life a little more. And Laura Sass, if she's on here, may be able to give us a much better explanation. I again, I don't know why I, I hear things and I instantly forget them. I wish I could remember like all, all the science behind it. I can't. All I know is someone told me at one point, drop it in your non-dominant hand, use your other hand to rub it clockwise. So that's what I do. Don't need to know why. Just I like the ritual, so I do it. Okay, so we're going to move on to humility. And um, we can see if um, Debbie or Susan can give us the, the oils and humility. I'm going to tell you about it. So humility, Gary says this is not humility in a bottle. I don't know. He named it humility, so who knows? Um, so Debbie just posted it. For those of you who aren't seeing comments, humility has coriander, ylang ylang, Bergamot, geranium, melissa, frankincense, myrrh, northern lights, black spruce, vetiver, bitter orange, and rose. So another potent one. So, mm, this is cool. Hello, Miss Fee. Fee is joining us from Singapore. It's so exciting. Yay. Um, so Gary says he... He says he creates the blends in his mind first. So 
he said sometimes it's hard to find a name to say what the blend actually is or what it represents or what it's supposed to do but humility was the closest he can come to with this blend he says sometimes we lack the humility necessary to bring us into the spiritual realm that we desire he says it doesn't mean that if we're not humble we're not a good person but if we are sick or depressed or stressed out or angry or upset we are not in a humble state he says those are just normal emotions in life but if we want to reach a humble state it's a lot easier when we are kind of in check with our emotions so I talk a lot about humility because this is a blend I love to use when I get on coaching calls with people whether I'm doing the coaching or I'm being coached because Gary talks about when we are in a, a humble place we are more teachable right we're much more teachable and um, when we can tune into higher frequencies and be teachable we are going to receive much better direction, much better intuition, and then we can know ourselves better, be more coachable for ourselves, and in turn, we can then be of greater service to other people. So Gary says, humility helps the frequency of the oil, stimulates the pineal, the pituitary gland, helps increase endorphins and neurotransmitters. So a lot going on with this blend. Um, mm. Just really nice. And one of the oils in here um, that used to be in this, it's I don't think it's in any more from the list that you posted, Debbie. Spikenard used to be in here. This is that was one of the blends from the um, from the oils of the Bible. And spikenard was used by Mary Magdalene to anoint Jesus's feet. And so spikenard is one of those oils that Gary says its frequency kind of brings you to a contrite spirit, just like someone who is able to say, "Okay, I'm an open book. Just teach me." teach me I don't know it all so he talks about I'm gonna look at how he suggests using it oh yeah the ears the ears he talks about massaging humility on our ears and as you know the ears are a map to the body so if you think about if you look in your um, reference guides one of my favorite 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 pages is the map of the ear there's a physical map of the ear that shows you where the whole body relates to the ear and I like to think of it as Somebody described it once as, as a uh, like a baby curled up. So if you think of this as the head, and this is the spine, and then the baby's kind of in a like a you know a fetal position. That's kind of how the ear works in conjunction to the whole body, right? And so you can think of it physically. But then there's another cool page. It's, it's even cooler than the physical ear thing, which shows the ear and how emotions. Every point on the ear has a different emotion. So if you're feeling a certain way, you can massage oils on that part of the ear. Like there's a part of the ear, if you're feeling burdened by the world, um, if you are having challenges with your father, um, there are points for all of it. So go check that out in your reference guide. It's really cool. If you don't have a particular point or person or situation that you're dealing with, just massage humility all over your all over your ears. Um, he says you can also put it on your temples, behind your ears. We never put oils in our ears, right? That's the one one safety tip, but you can put it around. So let's have fun trying humility there. And again, if you don't have um, humility, use anything you've got. You may just want to ask for guidance on how to really be open to new information be open to someone who might be able to teach you something, even if it's very unexpected. And just give yourself a little ear massage too. That's really nice. Mm. I feel bad. I like it's, I could just sit here and smell these all night. I know we're, this is turning into a longer class, but I just, you just, you cannot rush this. Like, it just feels disrespectful to rush it, so. For me, what I notice with this blend is a decompression. It's just like this, it's like an accordion with all this air and then just all, like, kind of decompresses out.
What did you guys notice with humility? Mm. So nice. Mm. Anybody notice anything? Just when we think we know it all, we realize we know nothing, right? I mean, really. It's kind of been the, kind of the story of my life. The more I think I know, the less I know <laughs> when it comes to everything. So, Susan, I love hearing your comments. I love your feedback. This one brings more introspection for me. Yep. And, you know... Sometimes we're our best teachers, so sometimes you need to put on humility so you can just hear yourself and just be open to your own wisdom, right? Oh my gosh, you're wearing your Bluetooth in your right ear and the volume just went way up. What were the megahertz? What's the? I don't have the megahertz written down for this one. Well, it must mean that you're hearing really well, my dear. <laughs> You're getting some you're getting some information coming through there. Cool. I don't know if I want you using oils with your Bluetooth on though, to be honest. I don't know why. I just mm, if it's amplifying everything, do what you need to do to listen to the class, but I don't know. That's just the mom in me. Take the Bluetooth out. Ah, uh, your life too, Debbie, huh? Fiona. Kisses. Okay, humility is great, honestly. Um, so 99 megahertz, thank you, Susan. I think, and Kelly's back with her Frank and Joy, I love it, right? Did you notice anything? <laughs> um, okay, oh, you were using the Frank, the Frank and Joy still and your hearing went up. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So you are a living proof that if you use the same two oils over and over and over again, you still get different, different responses. That's so awesome. Okay, so I do recommend humility if you have uh, if you have children, if you have a spouse, if you work with people, if you give advice, if you get advice, if you want advice, pretty much everyone humility. <laughs> Okay, let's move on. We have two more left. So Dreamcatcher is the second to last. Um, Dreamcatcher. So this is a very exotic formula, according to Gary. Um, it is designed to enhance dreams, visualization, promote greater potential to realize your dreams and stay on your path. And Dreamcatcher, yes, is another one that has like a million oils. So Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood, Tangerine, Ylang Ylang. Black pepper, bergamot, anise, juniper, geranium, blue cypress, divana, jasmine. I have no idea what that next oil is, Debbie. Matri matricaria. Never heard of that one before. Blue tansy, rose, grapefruit, spearmint, lemon, and akatea. Okay, so if you only have the starter kit, you could pull out your lemon. Um, that's the only one from the starter kit. But man, there's a million there. Like you could pull out grapefruit, spearmint, some of your citrus oils. Ylang Ylang again. Ylang Ylang is like the star of this whole protocol. Um, hi, Nicole. Thank you for joining us. So we're on Dreamcatcher right now, Nicole. Um, so Dreamcatcher. Okay. Gary says this. Gary says um, that... Oh, and chamomile. Okay. Cool. Gary says, as we grow up, we are told by our parents, our teachers, our peers to quit daydreaming to have a reality check, get in the real world, right? Oh, it's a type of chamomile. Okay, thank you, Debbie. You are hired as my Facebook Live assistant <laughs> for every class I do. Um, okay, so, you know, people think that you have to, like, know your oils to get to diamond. No, you don't. See, no, you just need a reference guide or the website. All right, so Gary says that some of the most devastating things that we can say to our kids and ourselves is, you know, like, just have a reality check. Forget your daydreaming. Stop dreaming. Get out of the clouds. 
He says, daydreaming is an important part of our creative process. We need to find the space to daydream. We need to give ourselves permission for this. We need to give other people permission for this. On Essentially Powerful, that's one of our goals. We want you to be able to not only think of what your dreams are and be able to actually identify them and see them, but we want you to write them down. We want you to share them with your sponsor, share them with us. It's one of the things we do, the first thing we do when we start to work with a business builder. What is your dream for your business? What will this change for you? It's what we do when we have welcome calls with our new team members. What is your goal with Young Living? Like, Why did you join? What do you hope that this will do for you? I think so many people spend their lives and they, they dull down their daydreams. They don't even dare. If they dare to dream, they don't tell anybody about it. They just keep it stuffed down inside. And that's kind of like not having a dream if you stuff it down. So this dream catcher is really helpful. Bring them back up again. So Gary says... Um, Healing, it's very healing and helpful for the mind. It's like a mini mind vacation. I love that. It's a mini mind vacation. Gary teaches his patients. So as you know, Gary is a doctor. He's worked with thousands of patients. He teaches his patients to take mini mind vacations. When we are kids, we call it daydreaming. And Gary says when we are adults, we call it visualization. So he says the oils help in the filtering process. Um, this, this, the oils in Dreamcatcher... Um, it helps to enhance our dream and whoops, it filters out the garbage that we don't want to pull in or enhance. So because, you know, whatever we hold in our mind, we kind of, you know, call to ourselves. And he said sometimes we will hold negative thoughts in our mind even when we're daydreaming. So dream catcher is going to help us let go of the negativity when we're daydreaming so we don't use that negativity to attract that to ourselves. Children love this blend. Gary says it will may help children sleep more soundly, especially if they're having bad dreams. And he says if the bad dreams, if you use Dreamcatcher, has it, has anybody used Dreamcatcher and had bad dreams, or like you were using it to try and have better dreams, but the bad dreams keep coming? Has anybody noticed that? Because what Gary says is um, sometimes if the bad dreams continue to come when you're using Dreamcatcher, it means that you are working through something subconsciously. He says continue to use the oil which will assist you in working through it. So, <clears throat> I don't know, I just happen to think of, you know, Santa Claus and kids and stuff, and, you know, sometimes there's transitions involved with that as children get older. So this could be a really lovely blend to have on hand if that kind of conversation comes around this year, right? So... Gary recommends that you put this on your pillow at night or diffuse it next to your bed. And since, well, I'm not in my bedroom and I don't have a pillow, so I'm probably going to put it on the crown of my head and the back of my um, neck again. So I would encourage you to put it wherever you feel like your dreams emanate from. Or if there is a part in your body that you're kind of holding a dream stuck and captive, go ahead and put it there. Okay. And it's blue. Hold on. Can you see? It's blue. So pretty. I love it. If you notice your dreams get stuck in your throat and you cannot share them or speak them, it might be a good place to put it. If you find that maybe you don't feel like you deserve to dream, you're not worthy of it, you don't have enough self-love or affinity for yourself to dream big, then maybe over your heart. I don't know why they all have blue bottles or blue labels. I don't know. But, you know, the labels and the colors seem to have a theme, you know? So these all seem to be pretty powerful spiritual ones. I don't know. I mean, Piano Way is blue too, so who knows? But they are all blue. Isn't that cool? You could put this on an actual dream catcher. You could make a, um, so I have a spray bottle that's a dream catcher um, spray, just with water and dream catcher. So you could even take that and spray it on your dream catcher at night before bed. Yeah, try it, Maria, I think, and, and check back in with us and let us know how it works. Okay, anybody notice anything about dream catcher? I do notice that my 
my seven-year-old sleeps better when I remember to spray it on his um, on his pillow, for sure. So if you found that you know you tried using lavender or peace and calming or um, cedar wood or vetiver or frankincense or any of those that we typically use for sleep with your children and it hasn't had that effect, you know, it's worth giving Dreamcatcher a shot. And if they don't like it, you can use it, right? Okay, so we are moving on to our last blend. And I think that a lot of you guys have this blend. This is White Angelica, okay? So White Angelica is designed to basically create a protection, to protect us energetically. It's, it's like, I call it the bubble. It's the shield, right? So as we go through life, especially in the holiday time, again, we're around so many people. And we're often, you know, around people that we don't necessarily even choose to be around. It's just like who we happen to do holidays with. And so um, White Angela can be super helpful to keep your energy with you and to let everyone else's energy stay with them. This is a blend I think that kids who go to school should wear every day. Every day. And adults who go to work should wear it every day. And people who travel should wear it when they travel. And people who are going to have difficult conversations or not even difficult conversations, just like any conversations on the phone, Facebook, in person, should wear it. Um, I think it should be a daily, like I think we should brush our teeth and put on our deodorant and brush our hair and put on White Angelica. Just like all of us. Every day. All the time. So what does Gary say? Gary says the frequency of white angelica protects against the bombardment of negative energy. And um, he says when we are trying to get into a higher spiritual awareness space, use this for protection. Creates an auric or electrical field of purity around us to shield us from negativity and bad energy. Um, and keep that negativity from coming into our space and taking us away from our path. Okay. Um, it enhances the other oils that we use in this whole process. So to me, like when we think about a lot of the different emotional protocols that we do, we often would start with Valor and then we often end with White Angelica. It's almost like a, it seals in the deal. Would Sacred Mountain be a good substitute? Yeah, I think Sacred Mountain would be a really good one. You know, I feel like if you have Valor around as well or Valor too, that could be a really good one too. Um, and what you could do is, I lost you guys for a second, what you could do too is you could, if you don't have White Angelica, is just take out the oils that you feel um, would be protective for you. And just place your hands over each one and just say which one would be best for me to use as a shield today. And see which one calls to you. It's just... You know, you can keep it really simple like that too. So um, Gary says, always conclude your meditative state or your prayer time with White Angelica to seal that moment. So it has recently been reformulated. There um, it might have been the blue tansy. There's something in there that was harder and harder for them to supply and harder and harder for them to get in the large quantities that they needed because people love White Angelica. So... Um, it has recently been reformulated. I haven't smelled the new one yet. So, um, but from what I've heard from people who have, they say it smells very similar. Um, okay, so for White Angelica, there is kind of a recommended way to do this. Again, do whatever you want. But this is what, um, if you read about it, you hear Gary talk about it, this is what people do. So you take it, you put it in your hand again, and you only really need one drop, but you could use a couple if you want. And then you apply it like a shield, right? So down the front of your body, all the way down to your feet. And then up the backs of your legs, up your back, over your shoulders, over your arms, right? Over your head. And, you know, even if you don't want to have it on your body, you could just kind of rub it like in front of you, right? In front of you. You know, if you need to go into... A job and you're not allowed to wear oils you can just rub it around you right 
get the frequency around you, and then go wash your hands. You don't even need to apply it onto your body. Um, Joanne, that's great. So how often do you have to apply it as an empath? How often do you have to apply it? Does once a day work okay for you, or do you have to take it with you and, and reapply as necessary? So a lot of people find sometimes, especially they're very sensitive, I'm really sensitive to energy. If I'm teaching a class, I need to put it on before the class, sometimes partway through, and, and at the end, too. Um, it's not an all-day wonder for me. Um, I'm just too sensitive to energy. Um, oh, what is, so Melissa's talking about the animal desk reference. For the animals, it will help you not project your worries onto your pets including thoughts and feelings about their anxieties, which can then increase that specific anxiety behavior. It's suggested to apply over the shoulder or diffuse sometimes on a daily basis. Awesome. Thank you, Melissa. Does Belle like um, White Angelica? Does she love to come sniff you when you've got it on? That's awesome. Yeah, so not just for children, but for our animals. Oh, gosh. I think everyone can use this one. So, did anybody notice anything as they used White Angelica? Mmm, love it. So, I want to ask you, those of you who played with a couple different blends, which was your favorite from all of these? And even if you didn't put the oil on because you didn't have it, um, which was the one or which was the step that we did in the protocol that spoke to you the most? Which was the one for you? For me, I think, uh, I don't know, it was between Sacred Mountain and Inspiration, actually, which is funny because I don't love Inspiration, but that was the one that really got me. So Leslie wants humility. Yeah. Your dog sat at your feet. She's been near you. That's great. That's so awesome. Kelly, are you still using Frank and Joy, <laughs> or did you use White Angelica? So Chelsea likes Sacred Mountain. Cool. And Melissa likes Grounding and Humility. Shannon says Awaken. Isn't this cool how everyone liked a different one, right? Like, everyone had a different one that spoke to them. Well, I'm going to just share with you again. So Awaken spoke to you. You'd like to get inspiration. Cool. Cool. Um, I want to share with you again the protocol, and I will post this on the team page um, as well, just to kind of recap it so that you have it, and then we'll close for tonight. And Gary does talk about the fact that he says, you know, um, he says the seventh heaven isn't necessarily designed to be done in steps. Like, you don't have to do it in those steps every single time. He says, you know, just do them intuitively. He says this is the one to use when you are feeling down or depressed or out of balance with life, like you, your feet have kind of fallen out from under you. This is a great set of oils to use, but he said you can try just one of them. Try them in a reverse order, like do whatever it is that you feel called to do. Um, just use them, right? So, all right, so here was the, here was kind of the lineup. Um, Hold on, I can't help but read what everyone says. Gathering, awakened dream catcher. Lots of gatherings. So great. So I recommend um, you could put one in every essential rewards order from now, you know, until June. And by June, you'd have all of them. I mean, and some of them are cheap enough, you could put a couple of them in your orders and, you know, have them within a few months. Um, these are pretty powerful, potent blends, so having them around is going to be pretty fun, even if you end up using them in completely different ways. So we started with Sacred Mountain. Sacred Mountain, it, Gary talks about putting it in the diffuser, um, put it anywhere really where you feel like you need to come back to your center and find the calm of the mountains. Then we go to Inspiration. He talks about putting Inspiration on your crown. I would say anywhere that you feel like you need to be inspired. Um, then he talks about Awaken, either in the center of the forehead or from right to left. Awaken really helps to, to give you the guts that you need to awaken to what it is you want to do, and then to move forward with it, not be stuck. 
Then we have gathering. Gathering is the one that cuts like the knife through all the bombardment, the chaos, the craziness, all this input that you get. And he talks about putting it on um, the face, the temples, um, anywhere really, anywhere that you are affected by that kind of bombarding energy. He talks about humility on the ears, right? So that we can be teachable, that we can really truly hear um, kind of with beginner's mind. Dream catcher on the pillow or in the diffuser at night. And then white angelica as a shield, right? So, I mean, you may find honestly that you never use them all together, all at once. You may find, like for me, the way I would do it, if I don't want to take the time to sit down and go through it, like Dreamcatcher will just be on my nightstand, right? White Angelica will be by my purse by the back door before I leave the house. Humility will be on my desk, right? I usually keep it on my desk near my phone because that's where I do most of my coaching calls. Gathering, probably going to be in my purse because usually I need gathering. I need to come back to center when I'm out in the middle of everywhere. Uh, I mean, Saker Mountain by my bedside to use in the morning time. Inspiration and Awaken would probably be at my desk because that's where I would need to have the guts to move forward and the need to be inspired. So, I mean, you can just like separate them out like little messengers all through your home, your purses, everywhere. And, you know, that way when you go to use oils, wherever you are, you'll have one of them and you can kind of see how they affect you. So, all right, people are feeling good. I am feeling good. I'm still really tired from today, but I'm feeling much more stable. <laughs> and honestly, I probably wouldn't have, you know, if I had been doing a different class, I probably would have canceled the class because these, I knew I needed these guys tonight. So um, I'm grateful that they helped me get through the class. And now I'm really tired, so they're going to help me get some really good sleep. Um, anybody else want to share how they feel from the class? How they feel from these oils, or even just from hearing about them? Anybody want to share? And I would recommend the best way, if you have any of these, is to go share with somebody else, right? So I just did this class. I'm looking brighter. <laughs> Did I turn, I turn the lamp up a little bit? I feel brighter. I feel better. I always feel better, always, when I use my oils. Always, right? And that's why I always say, aren't we glad we're in this business instead of in, like, the Tupperware business? Because Tupperware ain't going to help you out when you're, you know, having a day. <laughs> like a crazy day. But the oils can. So I would really encourage you to share this protocol with someone. Maybe what it means, oh, here's an idea. If you can only, you know, budget to get one or two of them, have somebody else on your team get one or two of them. Have somebody else get one or two of them. Band together with like three friends. You each get two, two or three oils from this protocol and then get together and teach them how to do the protocol. Okay, I'm happy to post notes, but you didn't... <laughs> Shirley, I know you didn't mean with light, but... <laughs> um, I'll post just those steps from the protocol. You can watch this video with them, but... Don't hold this information into yourself. Like really, like as soon as I found this, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to share this with people. Um, and I think it's all well and good to like send them an email with it written out, but it's so totally different to actually do this. So what a gift for people on your team or the people in your life to be able to offer them the chance to eat, you just to put one of these on. So even if you just walk around with White Angelica or you walk around with Sacred Mountain, in your purse or your bag over the next few weeks as we go through this holiday season imagine what you could bring and the gift you could give so i'm going to sleep now i hope you all have a great night and feel free to tag team members if they weren't on live and if you think that they would find it helpful all right guys have a great night thank you to debbie and to susan for helping out too i really appreciate you guys so much thank you